Dogs bit person, advice? A few days ago I woke up at 4 a.m. to what I think was my dogs fighting each other, but they were actually biting someone who has entered in my house. I have a security camera and it showed the man for like 20 seconds of this person working on my front door with what the police told me was a burglar kit and then entering. This person forced my door open but was bitten very badly by my two dogs. I heard this noise came out and saw what was happening and called 911 but I couldn't get my dogs off of him and he was screaming. The police were at my house for hours and I missed work. The person left on an ambulance stretcher with neck bleeding and leg wound and left the blood all over the floor of my house. The police detective guy have now called me and asked me to come to the police station on Thursday to talk to them. I am a full-time student with a part-time job and cannot afford a lawyer I don't think. I have never dealt with the police or something like this before. I do t know what to do. Should I go talk to police? I am asking for advice on what to do. What type of lawyer do I get? Where do I find a good one? I don't have much money I work part-time. I don't want to lose my dogs either. My dogs are German Shepherd dogs if that matters and I am in USA. Sorry for bad English. Thank you. You say you are a full-time student? Many universities have a free legal resource center for their students see if this is something available from your school. Do not speak to the police without a criminal defense attorney present. In addition to the police also don't talk to and or let animal control into your house unless they have a warrant. Your dogs did their job and you should be in the clear but like how others have said don't speak to them without consulting a lawyer first. They will try to tell you you're not in trouble we just need to know the story, we just want to know what you saw etc don't buy it. Don't talk to the cops without a lawyer. Ever. You should legally be in the clear, your dogs were protecting you and your property exactly the way they are meant to. Still, say nothing to the cops without a lawyer. Contact the city hall and ask about lawyers who work with people who cannot afford legal fees and such, they should be able to put you in contact with someone. Never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, talk to the cops without a legal defense present. Criminal lawyer here. As a prosecutor, I can't see any way they'd imagine filing charges against you for anything. Your dogs were doing their job. But like everyone else said, don't talk without a lawyer. Send the video over and go from there. Call your insurance company. If you have a hoe policy there's at least coverage for the door. Homeowners or renters may afford you coverage if the burglar sues you for the dog bite. If there's coverage, they will provide a lawyer to represent you. You can also contact the local bar association, they usually can provide referrals or they might know of a free or low cost lawyer or legal clinic. No matter how nice the police might be do not talk to them without a lawyer present to help protect your rights. It is legal for the police to lie to you and mislead you. You really need an experienced advocate with you to help you protect yourself. Wishing you all the best as you work your way through this situation. Check with your school to see if they have a student legal services office. Usually, they represent students in housing or underage drinking situations. However, they may be able to help you here. Never talk to the police without an attorney. Ever. Ever. You are free to decline to speak with the police on the basis that you are seeking representation. Others have given good advice on where to seek representation. Each state will have different laws regarding this, and you do not know what the offending party has told the police. Save that footage. Get it to an attorney right away. Have insurance? File a claim. They'll start you with a lawyer. Reach out to local legal aid organizations. Contact your school to see if they have legal services available to you. You need a lawyer now. Don't talk to police without one. What state are you in? Most states have a law about unreasonable and voluntary exposure to a known risk. Essentially, the intruder fucked around and found out. I want to say, legally you should be fine, but the intruder could still come back at you with a civil suit. Do you have homeowner's insurance? That will cover you. 
or it's self-defense that they did a break-in and entering. Not sure but I wouldn't be worried at all. You yourself didn't do anything. If you do talk to the police the second they start asking about your dogs tell them you need a lawyer. I think they are just wanting you to sign paperwork or something. If they wanted your dogs they would just come get them. State? Never talk to the police without an attorney present. Where did this happen? Not sure where you're from, but as all said the university may be able to help. Also look into whatever country you're from social organizations or community to see if representation is possible. But do not, I repeat, do not speak to the police without an attorney present. Consultations are usually free. Not the asshole. Most cities in the U.S. have legal aid society to give out legal advice. Check with them. I am not a lawyer. What country are you in? Assuming the U.S. Do not give any statement or answer any questions until lawyer present. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided. Until then, exercise your right to remain silent. You don't have to answer any questions and anything you say will be used against you should this turn into something more. Taking the Fifth Amendment is in no way a sign of guilt. It's a sign of intelligence. The lawyer will tell you your options and advise you. Until then, no talkie. Good dogs. Maybe they want you to come in about for info about the burglary etc. The dogs saved you. It's a good idea to talk to legal aid and see if they have a representative that can go with you. Agree with comments 100. Do not speak to the cops without a lawyer present. A good chunk of my family is in law enforcement of some kind and I've had this instilled in me longer than I can remember. A dude, they can't force you to the station without a warrant. B you need a lawyer and fast. This is not a situation to FK around, or you might find out. Now. You still have to go to the police department to give a statement. If you feel you need an attorney, then you should hire a criminal attorney. Check your university to see if they have legal services or call legal aid. Based on your accounting of events, it seems like they just need a formal statement. But you don't have to answer any questions. You should be able to ask for a court-appointed attorney if you need one. I wouldn't agree to meet the police until you have proper legal counsel. I don't think you have to talk to the police just because they invite you in for a talk. If they have any case against you, they can get a warrant for your arrest and bring you in. There's a much cited video on you titled Never Talk to Police and I would advise you to watch it. Sounds like good dogs to me. What's the question? The only defense against a dog bite claim is provocation. They were provoked by his entering. Keep stating that your dogs only bit him because he provoked them by entering. Hammer that hard in your statement. I have no advice to offer regarding the police, but give those good dogs a very nice treat for protecting you, heart. There are 50 states in the USA each state laws are different you don't even provide your state. Get a lawyer in your state lol. Depending on the state your dogs could be put down for this, burglary or not. Absolutely get a criminal defense attorney, I would only talk to the cops with one present. A lot of them can do payment plans or some do pro bono work so call around and ask but don't talk until you get someone. You received all kinds of good advice. Let me also add. Good dogs, smiley face. I don't have any advice but may I say you have good dogs? What type of a world do we live in where a student has to worry about talking to the police because someone broke into their house and his dogs defended their property? Absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. I'd personally go and talk with them and clear up the whole situation while being mindful of your answers. For example your dogs have never shown signs of aggressiveness and then ask them clarifying questions on why the person was there. But the best advice is to go get legal aid from your school before talking with the police because they can be pricks and try to find you liable in some way. Consulting a lawyer is always a good idea like this. However, if you didn't get a statement about the BE they may just be after that so they can charge the guy. 
Find your proof of rabies vaccination.